Alright guys, first off I want to say thank you for watching and subscribing to the channel. I hope you enjoy this little video here. Unfortunately it ends on a bad note, more on that to come. But uh, here's a little ride day at Kroom, was able to get out and do some conditioning and uh, really just work on endurance, keeping eyes up, some basic skills as I prep to go racing at Dade City. So I got to come out with my new co-worker Kent, uh, he just got back into riding again after a few years being out of it. He had an awesome YZ450F, beautiful bike, he's a really good rider. Um, I was having a hard time keeping up with him most of the day, so uh, he's, he's fantastic to watch ride. Uh, it was a good motivation for me to try and keep up and, and push myself to, uh, to really stay with him. So we spent most of our time on the main trails A and E, uh, down toward the southern end of Kroom, and then some time in the pit here as you'll see too. Uh, basic riding. The trails were pretty whooped out, so it was a lot of work. Uh, it was very rainy, very misty, as you can probably see by now in the video, too. Hard to see. Um, I, I, I did some tear-offs at first and was having a hard time keeping up with that, so I said, the heck with it, I'm just going to forget the tear-offs and just keep wiping my goggles off with my glove. That ended, ended up being a little better. So it was a really wet morning. and. Um, Luckily, toward the end of the day, the sun came out and dried some things up, but uh, man, it was, it was soggy to start with. Great time overall. Um, in fact, guys, I wanted to share the math of it. With this ride, I have now officially broken the 40-hour mark. What do I mean by that? I have now ridden for more than 40 hours. So from the starting of when I got that YZ250, if you go way back on the YouTube channel, from when I first started riding that, if I count just seat time uh, of actual riding, I've now got to 40 hours. So I step back and I look at this sometimes and I'm like, man, I've been riding for two years. Why am I not either better or, or you know, more advanced sometimes? Uh, days like this when I have a hard day, I sometimes look back and I'm like, man, why am I not riding faster or better or safer? And then I stop and look at the math and I'm like, well, wait a minute, I've only ridden for 40 hours. So um, that's not a whole lot of ride time for two years. Uh, for a long time there, I was only getting out once a month. So to look at this and say, okay, here's 40 hours. I, I put in 40 hours plus a week at work to hone my craft in, in my field. And so the idea of being disappointed at where I'm at with only 40 hours of actual riding time, I can't be disappointed. I shouldn't be disappointed. I should be really thankful and really happy about where I'm at. So all that is to say this, things are still moving along. I'm riding more often now. I'm making better progress now. I'm focusing more on track time now as opposed to trails and just putt-putt riding. Um, so things are starting to happen a lot faster. I think some, a lot of you have noticed that on the recent videos on the channel. Things are happening faster, and that's why I've made the decision to race this year. So this coming Saturday, March 4th, is technically the third race of the season, but it's the first race for me. I had to miss the first two, two races I was out of town, uh, but this is round three. It'll be the first time for me getting out this season. I raced once last year just to test it out, and, and I have that footage on my YouTube channel. You can check that out. Didn't go so hot, but didn't go bad. This season, I'm hoping to do better. I'm gonna be racing in, in an open beginner class. Um, I've gone back and forth on that a little bit, which class I should enter, but talking to some other guys and talking to the, the people who work at Dade City, they felt that that would probably still be the best for me uh, to get in that group, open beginner, and just kind of see what happens. So I've been uh, really trying to focus and gear up for that this Saturday night. If you live in the area, come on out to the races. It's awesome, it'll be a great time. Uh, if you see me in the pits, if you watch this and you're going to the races already, uh, if you see me in the pits, I'm not sure where I'll be, where I'll be parked, uh, but I'll be there. Uh, wave me down, flag me down, say hi. I'd love to shake your hand and meet you. Um, but yeah, so stay tuned. Early next week, I'll have all the videos up of how I did for the practice session and the two motos of racing. 
and uh, we'll see what happens, guys. Sorry about that, man. Appreciate it. We don't have to stay here. I just wanted to show you. A lot of guys come down here and do hill climbs. Not me. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna set this up for you. Uh, so basically, if any of you have ridden in the sand before, you know one of the cardinal rules is to never let off the gas. And so I was coming around this corner and the trail A, being that it was so damp in some spots and dry in others, made it really unpredictable for me. And at this point I was already tired. My arms were really pumped up. My thighs were on fire and I was just losing focus, guys. So coming around this corner here, what you'll see is I'm about to start swapping. And you can't really tell from the, the camera angle, but my back end swapped out two or three times opposite directions and just got all kinds of crazy. And when that happened, I, I broke that main rule. I, I let off the gas. When I did that, the front end dove, uh, spiked in, and ended up pitching me over the bars into the next loop. So um, it's coming up here in just a second around this next corner right here. Here, here we go. And there you have it. That's so hard to watch. I sound horrible. Um, I hate, hate, hate getting the wind knocked out of me. That's the worst feeling in the world. I actually haven't had the wind knocked out of me since I was a kid playing football in high school. I didn't hurt myself critically. I, no broken bones, got a mouthful of dirt, uh, my goggles and everything was just covered in sand. I mean, total face plant right in the sand. Um, but got up, shook out the cobwebs a little bit, checked out the bike. The bike was okay. It, it twisted the bars and and uh, kind of rotated everything up front, but nothing was bent. I was able to ride it back to the pits, loosen up everything, re-straighten it, re-torque it down, and everything was good. So, um, man, what a wild ride, but I'm okay. The bike is okay. I have a pretty massive bruise on my thigh, probably from hitting the handlebars or something like that, but... Um, Man, guys, that was that was nuts. That was not something that I want to do anytime soon again. That that just wasn't cool. That's how you don't do it. So again guys, thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, and as always, I will see you next time out at the track.